We just found the most bad to the bone Super C motorhome on the road. Aaron, what's going on here, sir? Hey, not much here at Bear Jackson. Been raining all morning, but showing our 389 chassis, four slide, 45 foot motor coach. This Super C is unlike anything we've ever seen. Totally custom with valid slides. And I gotta ask you, how much money does it cost to build one of these? This is about 1.2 million on this one is, is what we sold this one for. This is a 2024 Peterbilt 389 chassis. 605 horse Cummins uh, X15 motor with an 18 speed auto shift transmission on it. I mean, this is as cool as it gets on a truck chassis. The 389 model has been discontinued by Peterbilt, so we're kind of in the final run of those. Looks the part, sounds the part, like it is, like it is an awesome coach. Yeah, this is the real deal here, and I don't know anybody else converting the Peterbilt into motorhomes? Yeah, I mean, there's a few of our competitors out, but what kind of sets us apart is every single thing, this entire cab over portion, all of it is 100% aluminum construction. It's all welded out. Every single corner, every miter we make is bevel cut, welded, metal finished. I mean, there is no fiberglass, no plastic. It's not screwed together. It is a fabricated, fully fabricated, all aluminum box on it. Like you mentioned a little while ago, we have the industry exclusive on the valid slide mechanism on the semi-chassis motorhome. Nobody else on a truck chassis can use the valid system. We're really proud of that. We're proud to partner with such an awesome company. Valid does an amazing job. They're great partners. It's a great product. Makes a huge difference. Also convert 1492s on Freightliners, Kenworth, what all do you convert? Yeah, I mean, literally Freightliner, Kenworth, got an international coming up. You know, we say all the time, that's sort of like somebody's personality a little bit. And again, one of the things that I think is so cool about what we do is the truck is a major part of it. It's a major part of your personality, the style, the look, all that stuff. One thing that I personally like about the uh, Super Season, we kind of talk about it all the time. This Peterbilt 389, there's nothing really unique about it. It can be serviced, it can be worked on. You've got a giant engine in front of you here. If there's a wreck, it's not, you're not right on it. You're set back. It drives like a truck, you know, like a, like a pickup truck. It's intuitive when you get in and you go to drive it more so than some of the other products. Yeah, and tying that in with the interior you guys built, this is an awesome package. Now, I wanna take a closer look at the exterior, but I wanna point out real quick, I'm noticing the lines of the front cap here kind of follow the lines of that Peterbilt yeah. cab a little different than the cap we saw on the Freightliner last year. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a different cab. It's a, This 389 is narrower, it's a little bit shorter, that old school Pete look. So, you know, I, my main deal is I didn't want it to kind of look like our box was eating the truck, if you will. So we definitely designed that on the 389s. It's a little bit different. Again, that's just part of what we do. Awesome, you wanna show us around a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Again, valid brand slides. We flush in uh, the windows, kind of a theme with everything we do. Clean lines, radius corners, everything's mitered, the radius bottom rail. We've talked about it before when you were at the shop the stoutness of our doors. That's something that really sets us apart. Everything, of course, auto locks, auto light. This particular truck has got 200 gallons of fuel with the dual fuel tanks underneath the doors. And then this becomes all storage. Outside entertainment center and sound bar, we've got the auction live feed on it. Outdoor cooler on the drawer. Blacked out wheels, the satin black wheels on this coach. I think they really kind of set it apart pretty good. The black Dura Black Alcoas. Yeah, I love all those details you guys do, like that 1492 emblem up in the awning rail yeah. up there really cool style yeah. and it's backlit too so it matches you know we've got lights under the slide outs the awning lights the ground effect lights that rear spoiler is lit. We've got this outside sink, which is kind of cool. 25 foot hose reel on this. Like my situation with the little kids, it's always nice to be able to rinse them off. That rear bay is just storage. Unique to us is this rear pull out storage tray. Um, huge, six foot long. We've got you know some of the show supplies in here. This is Gen Y uh, insert hitch here. And I love this hitch. Awesome company, cool product out of Indiana. Rubber torsion hitch, but that we purchase and, and supply with everyone. This hitch, we fabricate all of that in house. If somebody wants to come to the shop, I'll tell them all about it, but I'm not gonna put it on video what we do with all that. And what's the towing capacity on this rig? 30,000 pounds. This coach is gonna weigh right at 50,000 pounds, full of water and fuel. It's 80,000 pound rated truck so you got about 30,000 pounds left over big deal is we got 12 to 15,000 pounds of tongue weight capacity on this versus like on a pusher style where you've got the rear engine with the engine in the front we end up with more tongue weight capacity 
for that rear hitch. This coach has the uh, shore cord reel. It's got a macerator system down here where you can pull it out with a 20 foot hose. Everything we do, there's overrides for everything. So if that macerator didn't work, there's a manual override, dump valve, you can hook a sewer hose up underneath and dump it. That's kind of a hallmark in everything we try and do. And these are huge slide rooms. I just have to point out, Valid Slide Rooms makes the biggest slide rooms in the industry. And those are not cheap either. That's an expensive feature. They are because because the whole system with the air seal and everything. I mean that you know deflates the slide, vacuums away the slide travels. It reinflates. I mean, and it makes a difference. Yeah, if you're sitting at a racetrack with valid slides with those air seals versus a typical motorhome, you're definitely going to notice a big difference in not only temperature but noise. A lot of benefits yeah. to that. We're standard with an AquaHot 675D. So it's got the 240 volt element in it. Up under here is where all our manifold is for all the plumbing. So everything's direct to the fixture. So there's no fittings inside. There's the fittings at the fixture and the fittings out here, but everything else is kind of home run. PEX won't burst. If it freezes, I mean, that's as tough as you can get. It's the fittings that are the issue. So with that manifold system, if you had a, you know, the hot side of your kitchen faucet you know, started leaking and had an issue, you can turn that hot side off, keep using the cool until we can get you in and get it serviced. Next bay here will be the generator. Typically it's a 12K Onan diesel generator. We can go all the way up to 20K generators and do quite frequently. As we come around here, I don't see any other Super C motor home that's cutting those windows in completely flush. What is it about your windows where they've got that flush look other Super C's don't have? Well, I mean, there is a lot of work into detailing that in. We, we have an aluminum ring that we machine out that's back in behind that. So there's the framing, that aluminum ring that the window's actually sealing against. Our exterior sheeting is 090 aluminum, and it's one piece. We call it our semi-seamless. So there are some seams, but we generally try and keep them to a minimum right underneath and above the slide. But one sheet going down it looks good for sure to have that window flushed in but also just again the wind the rain it's less likely to leak when the slide goes in it's smooth here on the side it's definitely the way we think is the best way to do it and it, and it looks good on this 389 again working with the customer like we painted the fuel tanks we did bed liner on this we painted like this bracketry we deleted a fender extension that was on here, painted the bumper. We automatically standard put paint protection film. We put it up on our cab over because that takes a lot of abuse from bugs and all that going down. It's got uh, ceramic built into it, keeps it nice and slick and comes easy to clean. That's a lot of the fun that we get to have working with the customer to make this truck unique to him. And I think it turned out pretty good. It's a sharp looking truck. Definitely, yes sir. Again, the 605 X15 Cummins. And that's like a perfect example of the serviceability of what why we like truck chassis and motor coaches is just that right there you can get into it service it and work on it on the side of the road service centers aren't scared of it because it's not unique there's nothing unique about that it's just it's a 389 peterbilt that everybody's familiar with all right Aaron I know they're excited about the exterior yeah. but do you think we could take a tour of the inside of this coach sure let's go Sounds good. Well, Aaron, we had to battle everybody off to get inside of this coach, but this is unbelievable. What is going on here, sir? We custom built this for customers out of Austin and I uh, show you around, man. We got full kitchen. And I think this is a pretty big step up from the coach we saw in Oklahoma last year, huh? Well, that's the goal. You know, everyone's going to get better. We've done some nice things on this one, locking drawer locks. You know, you put the emergency brake in, all the drawers in the entire coach lock and just saw a lot of little things. I think the ceiling's pretty cool. Yeah. And this one, different touch. Again, custom design for our customers. Yeah, and I'm noticing a lot more indirect lighting. Did you add more lighting in this coach as well? Yeah, we probably did. Everything's custom built. You know, it all starts, like I say all the time, it starts with the conversation the goal with this for the customer in this particular coach was they just kind of wanted real everything kind of just clean lines it uh, looks classy but but clean all at the same time the indirect lighting is of course rgb full color and all that i've just got to take another look at this ceiling here just to give everybody a close-up on that wood there and now this is a, a different style than the ceiling that we saw in the in the last 1492 are these all custom or how do you guys uh, come up with these ceiling designs? oh yeah definitely custom and then when we kind of talk with the customer about the initial design and back and forth and 
and then we do a 3D rendering of all of this. So ceiling, the walls, all the cabinet, all that, it's drawn in 3D and then we like, we, you are required before we build to basically do a walkthrough, ideally at our facility, but if it needs to be done remotely, we can do that. But I mean, all of that design again is just conversations had, what are you looking for? Everyone has been different. Now rolling up to the front of the coach here, I don't know if you saw the video I did on this feature right here, but I think I titled it coolest feature I've seen in a motorhome. Again, what's <laughs> yep. going on there? Well, again, that is our ladder. We call it the step and stow just to get it up and out of the way. Of course, if it's a loose ladder, you got to do something with it. And this allows us to just grab it, pull it down when that slide comes in. You can still use that ladder when the coach is in transit. Then it's up and out of the way when you don't need it. Our cab over is always traditionally higher than kind of industry standard, if you will, on the Super C because we build it up and tie it in with our clean line roof system. So when you get in there, it's a big tall bed. This particular coach has a full size bed. It's eight inch thick memory foam mattress and big storage on the side. Yeah, I really like how you guys brought that ceiling with those wood planks up into the bunk a lot of area up there and then those lines kind of follow that cab of the peat like we saw outside really looks good but what's going on in the cab up here this is the part of the truck that's really grabbing people's attention here at the Barrett well this is a 2024 so it's a brand new truck had like 100 miles on it when we left town to head out this way 389 Peterbilt 605 horse Cummins in it 18 speed ultra shift automated transmission 2050 foot pounds of torque on it but it is the old school Peterbilt Peterbilt it's cool it's a truck truck this 389 model is actually discontinued so right now we're in a run of like eight trucks out of 10 are the 389 model cab because everybody wants them just a really nice i mean well built made to do a job awesome going down the road it's really quiet peterbilt just does such a good job on everything like i really really like this does incredibly well you know it looks right yeah definitely great looking uh, rig probably the choice amongst truck drivers out there now Last year when we were out here, you had a freight liner, and we've talked about it before where you will convert different semis. How many peats a year are you converting? How many freight liners? It's certainly more Peterbilt, probably 60% more peats than anything else. You got a couple Kenworths coming up too that are really nice. It's all Peterbilt and Kenworth are the same company owned by Packar, but we like that. But again, it's what somebody wants. You know, we've got, if they want a freight liner, we're gonna get them a freight liner. Again, that all starts with the conversation. What are you looking for? Do you like the tanks? Do you like like the truck truck look that's all part of the conversation what are you doing with it what do you want to do with it and what kind of look are we going for that's i think what makes our deal kind of unique is we ch can change that truck up and make it more like your personality if you will makes it uh unique to you not just the interior and the shell but the truck part of it too is kind of a statement of who you are and what style you like yes yeah, sir definitely makes a statement and Coming back to the interior up here, I see the recliners up here. Mm -hmm. What's some of the other stuff uh, the owners of this coach had, had done? So the recliners, that is something that is new now. We have, this is Villa Seating out of California. We've switched over to that. We can still build our own in-house furniture but they do such a good job, especially with the reclining stuff that now we can do either or uh, customers pick, no no cost difference, but we pick again, everything. It's all design seating. This is the leather that the customers wanted with the wraparound dinette, fixed table. Again, just Villa does a good job. It's super quality furniture and the design part of it. So again, inserts, we can do all kinds of stuff, double stitch. And this is exactly what they wanted. It is a couple's coach. This is not a family coach. This, this would not work for me and my family. But again, that's, you know, the recliners across from the TV, big kitchen area because they want to cook. I think a family could probably make, maybe a small family could make this coach work <laughs> with the bunk up front and the bath and a half. So for resale, I think there's some value having that bunk up front there as well. But, oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, no, definitely. Going into the booth area, we've got backpacks uh, piled up here. You guys are kind of using this coach as an office here at the Barrett Jackson, but that's a very large style booth. Yeah. And it does say no sitting or I would try it out, <laughs> but out of respect for the owners of this coach, we're not going to sit down, but it uh, looks like real comfortable uh, seating there. Yep. Yeah, you bet. Again, it's Villa, so they do a good job. This has got the countertop on the back. Day, night, pleated shades. Everything's powered. Again, to talk about the drawers. The auto locking on the drawers, dishwasher, the induction cooktop, televator, lift. We do something on all our cabinets that I kind of like. This is hardwood clear uh, finished, hardwood maple. 
lining so it's really bright on all of our cabinets on the inside. This particular customer wanted a drawer up here to be able to pull out. We do travel lock on drawers like that. All the dovetail drawers, same thing back here on the pull out pantry. We've got the ability to pull that out full extension. And then when it goes in, it locks. That way stays in going down the road. This particular coach has overhead cabinets above all the seating. But if somebody wants a larger window, like at the dinette and no overhead, we can do all that. Valid's great to work with. The air seal, you know, you can hear it here. There's a lot of noise outside. It's super quiet in here. I notice that when I'm driving versus like a trade-in coach, the slides make all the difference in the world. Wind noise and squeak and just how the thing feels. They're just, that's the way to go. That's why we use them. Yeah, and I just love the, the space in here. You know, you've got a lot of headroom, yeah. but also the headroom in the slide rooms here, just yeah. huge slide rooms, really make it feel like we're not inside of a motor home. But coming back to this galley area here, seeing a lot of countertop space here, TV on the televator. What was the inspiration? for this design and it was countertop space i mean that's literally what the customer requested i mean like the three big drawers that are here the pull out uh trash can tip out all that stuff is kind of what we normally do standard this is kind of unique we do this fairly regular just countertop extension prep area in front of the, the induction cooktop. This ledge, I think, adds quite a bit of, you know, kind of look. This is the first one that we've actually done that was all countertop. This is quartz countertop that we fabricate in-house, but where it all comes up and then the outlets are in the back. A lot of times that'll be tile on the face, but I like how this turned out with all countertop on that. And then just the tile accent in the back is pretty slick. So it looks good. I And the function is, I mean, as good as we can get. Get a really cool style sink here. Where, where do you find all these uh, parts and pieces to go into these motorhomes? There's no one place at all. I mean, some of it even customers send in, you know. Hey, I like this sink. I had this in my house. I had this in something else fridge, uh, model numbers, all that stuff. It's just, uh, of course, we have in our design center, we've got catalogs and books and displays and all that stuff that, you know, certainly helps, but there's no one place. Coming back here to the half bath area. Again, good size half bath. Right across from your mid-entry yeah. door. I like the easy access there. Looks like a bidet toilet there. Is yeah, that it a... is. Yep. Both the half bath and the uh, uh, master have bidets in them per the customer request. I do like this layout where, like you mentioned, you know, you come in the, the entry door, the bathroom's right there not only that but the fridge is right here so that's kind of the two things that you know are traffic in and out of a coach usually our bathroom and fridge the pantry or the entry closet here this is what we call our convertible shelf these are removable or convertible closet rather these are removable shelves we can do a closet rod in here make it either a coat closet, we can make it a pantry. Below this convertible closet is uh, the customer's dog dish. Of course, we, we have the dishes back at the I office and all it. that. I love it, very cool. Lots you know, of you gotta worry about your dog. In here, we have the storage spot. This is the add leaf that goes in the dinette table so it can extend out. We have that all back at the office. So coming back into the rear suite here, lots of lighting. You've got lots of headroom back here. Is that a king size bed? That is, yep. The, what they call the RV king. So you can buy standard sheets and blankets and all that for it. And we do the control center on both sides. So you control the entire coach from both sides. Every light in here is dimmable, not just in, in the bedroom, but in the whole coach. So I like all that. In, in all the controls. This is our typical setup on this this slide out uh, that we do, which I kind of like, you know, the storage, hanging storage on both sides, storage down below, and then the big giant closet rod coming across. We can do this in a lot of different ways. Uh, one of the ones that I kind of actually like a lot is we've got a removable grid that we've designed that kind of goes in there and sort of makes almost like a dresser or cubbies in there. Really great for storage as well. Drawers down below, great you know area to just drop a bag do all that right on the granite this is kind of a unique double-sided cabinet where you can get to it you know from the bathroom and from out here there's a hamper down here you can drop your clothes in down to remove it down in the bottom again and accessible from both sides a nice simple design but mm -hmm. i really like that we all need a, a spot to yeah. dirty clothes yeah so. exactly back in the uh 
rear bath remove that the chain doesn't go with it just so you know that's <laughs> yeah. just for show purposes but kind of a unique arrangement again with the washer dryer at the rear back here we haven't really done one exactly like that good you know use of space out of the way and then it allows for on the other side the the large shower and then the medicine cabinet backlit mirror on it i like this a lot where it's the solid surface shower tile is beautiful tile is great we love to do tile as well but for me where it's just the one you know sheet is seamless it's clean it's easy to keep clean it seals really well i think it looks good and there's a thousand different you know colors and designs to choose from so that would be the standard typical shower setup and then everything else heated showers steam showers you know all that stuff are also available all of our pocket doors are mirrored fully mirrored on the bathroom side. Make sure you're looking good before you go out. Yes, sir. Beautiful mosaic tile. That's actual tile work though, right? Yeah, that correct. That's flat stone tile work. Kind of a unique thing. All of that sitting all the way even up to the bench that's there and the whole base and a lip coming up that the solid surface sits on is all a one piece broke and welded out aluminum pan. So all of the tile and the solid surface and all that are actually adhering down to a fully welded out aluminum pan. So there's, if there were a leak, if there was a crack in the tile or something like that, that pan is gonna stop it. Not sure if anybody else is doing that that I've seen, but it's something that just gives us a lot of confidence that that shower is not gonna leak in the future. I, I think you like welding everything together. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's true too. <laughs> Definitely lots, fabrication. Lots of welding yeah. in yep. Oklahoma going yep. on. Yeah, that's right. Aaron, I appreciate you showing us around this beautiful motorhome. Now, if someone's a serious and qualified buyer, they want a custom order of 1492 Coachworks motorhome, Home, who can they get a hold of? Uh, call us at 405-745-6666. Ask for Weston uh, or myself and 1482coachworks.com and Weston J at 1482coachworks.com. Awesome, Aaron. I appreciate so, you, sir. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. My pleasure. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there subscribing to the channel. We hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thanks, guys.